Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. You know, Casey, you and I both live in the Grove. I've been to Chugs, but you definitely need to go there because it is absolutely delicious. I walk by it all the time and I kind of just peek in the window just to see what everyone's having and it always looks you're amazing. Like, Ooh, what's that over there? Right, exactly. It's all so good. It looks good. I gotta check it out. And if you're about to maybe head off to brunch, even lunch today, shouldn't have any issues. Our rain chances are going to stay nice and low, at least for the first half of your Sunday, but we will start to see those pick back up, especially as we get closer to about the dinner time hour. And this chance is a little bit higher compared to at least yesterday. We have just a bit more moisture to work with. One of the things we are waking up to, though, this morning is a little bit of fog for inland Broward County. So we have plans to hit Alligator Alley. Dense fog advisories remain in effect through 9 a.m. Uh, this morning. So just be mindful that where you may be running into some vis visibility pockets, thanks to the fog of under a quarter of a mile at times. We've got a front to the north of us. Fog pretty typical ahead of frontal boundaries, and that's what we currently have north of Lake Okeechobee, north of southwest Florida, and just now moving through the Tampa Bay area. For us, it's going to be taking its time, and by the time it reaches south Florida, unfortunately, if you've been hoping for some cooler weather, it's not going to quite bring us anything. In fact, it's going to be really washed out as it moves into our region. Out ahead of it, we're actually pretty dry this morning. A few showers have been down to the Keys, but most of us wake up to plenty of sunshine. Temperature is still warm here in our neck of the woods. If you want some cooler conditions, you have to travel up to North Florida in the Panhandle. That's where they have temperatures in the 50s right now. Now starting to see those temperatures also drop down through Tampa. We're at 78 degrees though in South Florida. Again, that front weakening quite a bit as it pushes southward. We'll also be slowing down, so expect warm, humid conditions today, along with some spotty afternoon showers and storms. This front, it's going to be stalling around our area into tomorrow. All the dry, cool air that's going to remain to the north of us. We really won't see much of it here. And by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're actually going to start to see this lift back northward as a warm front. An area of low pressure out across the Gulf of Mexico will bring the return of even more moisture in, which means higher chances for rain. And we're also really going to start to feel that humidity as we head into the second half of the week, where some of those dew points could be reaching at oppressive levels. So yeah, we are still in this summertime pattern. Today, dry to start, we'll be looking at a bit of an increase in clouds by about 1, 2 o'clock. Notice by about 3, 4 o'clock, we start to see some showers and storms develop across the metro area. Dinner time, 6, 7, 8 p.m. You may be running into a few of those. And again, these will be focused across our metro zone. So just be mindful of that, be, but eventually clearing out as we head into late tonight with a couple showers possible down to the Keys. So if you're heading out to Hard Rock Stadium, maybe it's a tailgate today. Dolphins taking on the Giants should be dry to start. It's going to be warm with just a chance for some spotty showers and storms by the time the game lets out. Across the tropics, we are tracking one tropical wave just off the coast of Africa. 80% chance of development with that one, but it should be working its way northward. It's not going to be a threat to us and actually should remain out at sea. Locally, we're all about the increasing rain chances and the heat and the humidity. Higher chances for showers and storms return, especially for Wednesday and Thursday. All right. Thank you, Casey.